everyone, it's me, Alex, and everyone's favourite bird, Archie. Today we're having a look at one of the most controversial stores on the internet. Aside from being the fourth most Googled fashion brand in the world, uh, aside from Louis Vuitton, Gucci and Supreme, Fashion Nova is also one of the most followed stores on Instagram. They have 15 million followers and they gain about 10,000 new followers a day. They also post one photo every hour. I'm, I'm not kidding. Goals. I'm joking, I wouldn't spam you guys like that. But their fame and success is pretty good for a company that started out in a small mall in California. In 2006 they opened their doors as a physical store and it wasn't until 2013 that they launched their online store. When they did launch their online store they already had 60,000 followers on Instagram because they'd already been sending out clothes to people in exchange for posts online. That's something that they still do today. They have a network of over 3,000 celebrities and influencers that they work with. I am not one of them. I pay for all this stuff myself but I'm not affiliated with the brand. But that's the problem here because it's really difficult to know who is actually sponsored by Fashion Nova and who isn't. There's a huge amount of organic posts from customers on Instagram that are chasing that Fashion Nova clout. You know, they've got 15 million followers, so for a customer to buy a piece of clothing, upload a photo and then tag it with hashtag Nova Babe, if they got a shout out, I guess it's a pretty big deal. But the problem is that people that are sponsored by Fashion Nova also use hashtag Nova Babe and then often they don't put hashtag ad. So it's really difficult to know who's sponsored and who's not. Lipstick Nick got put on blast recently by Here For The Tea because the amount of pictures that she's uploaded for Fashion Nova Curve, it's obviously sponsored. I mean, she would post a picture of herself wearing slippers and be like, Loving my slippers from Fashion Nova Curve. It was just so forced and it was definitely not organic, but it was never tagged as an ad. And a lot of people started calling her out and eventually she put hashtag Fashion Nova Ambassador in her bio. But the FTC does not consider that to be disclosure because you're supposed to put hashtag ad on every single post that is for the brand that's sponsoring you. So she did go back and put hashtag ad on a couple of her latest pictures, but there's still dozens that she didn't put it on. So that's part of the reason that I didn't tag any of the clothes that you're about to see. I put up a few pictures of myself over the past few weeks since I filmed the week long wear test and uh, I didn't want to tag any of the clothes because I just, I don't want to get involved in that mess. I feel like the moment anyone with a following puts up a picture of themselves wearing Fashion Nova, there's all these comments like, are you sponsored? Were you paid? Did you get this for free? So so I've just decided to not put anything relating to Fashion Nova under the pictures. The brand is just so full of controversy, whether it's stealing designs or or getting in trouble with the Kardashians. It's weird because Chloe and Kylie always put up sponsored posts for Fashion Nova, but Kim recently put them on blast because she stepped out on the runway wearing this uh, vintage designer gown, and then the same day, a gown just like it went up for sale on Fashion Nova. Now it's a really long story and there's a big theory to it and I'll put a link to this video down below because this is a really informative video but the long story short is people were trying to work out is Kim Kardashian giving Fashion Nova the designs before she's wearing them in public so Fashion Nova can knock something together and then she'll go up on the runway and then they'll launch it or is it the fact that Fashion Nova has a team of designers that keep an eye out for things that celebrities are wearing and they will literally knock together samples within 24 hours of the celebrity wearing it and then post it up for sale. Often it'll be pre-order. So for example, the day that Kim stepped out in this dress, it went up for sale on Fashion Nova as a pre-order because they hadn't even actually made it yet. So that's the thing, there's this big going on and Fashion Nova is just always shrouded in controversy. So um, what better brand to make a video about I guess. I asked my Instagram followers what they think about the whole Kim Kardashian thing and also what they think of Fashion Nova in general and I wanted to read a couple of the responses out to you because they're interesting to say the least. The first one that I thought was interesting was from Amberly Smith who said, I despise this brand so much. I made two separate orders from them about two years ago and they sent me a bunch of incorrect items both times. Also, just about everything else in my order was such bad quality or damaged, ripped or falling apart when it got to me. When I contacted customer service, they made me return them and pay to ship the incorrect items back myself and promised they'd reimburse me for shipping. They ended up reimbursing me with store credit. I also wanted a refund for the damaged clothing. I had a huge back and forth with customer service through email saying that this was unacceptable and I wanted an actual reimbursement. 
to my card for having to fix their mistake. They told me the only way they were going to give me a refund is through store credit. Eventually a supervisor asked me for my information so he could call me to work things out and never did. I ended up disputing the charge through my bank successfully at that. It so irks me beyond belief to see them promoted as much as they are on Instagram. Now that is terrible. I am so sorry that happened to you, Amber. Luckily for me, nothing went wrong with this particular order. I mean, it did take three weeks to arrive, but all the items that I ordered were here and uh, I mean, nothing was damaged. You, you'll, you'll see, some of the stuff wasn't great, but nothing was damaged. That's a real customer review right there. So I would be cautious if I were you. There's another one that I wanted to look at too from iJessica6 who said, I've ordered from them a few times and the quality was six out of 10 the first couple of times and the last order I got was horrible, two out of 10 at best. So I returned it and they refused to give me my money back. They don't cover return shipping, I'd like to add. So I had to go through PayPal. Thank God for PayPal protecting buyers. It literally took two months of arguing with them in emails and then contacting PayPal to get my money back. At some point I was even told my return wasn't a priority to them because Cardi B's collection had just come out, which I thought was absurd. <laughs> Needless to say, I'll never shop with them again. So look, that's just two of the comments under my Instagram photo. It's it's not a good look, but anyway, let's have a look at my week wearing fashion over clothes because it, it was a real sort of roller coaster. <laughs> day one was a very girly day. I had to head out to the salon. I was getting eyelash extensions and my nails done. I wore the soft to the touch fuzzy skirt set and paired it with some pink shoes from Wish. This outfit was pretty appropriate for such a girly day. Although I must say, despite this being a crop top and a short skirt, it is stinking hot. I had the aircon going in the car while I was driving here and that was totally fine. But I feel like as soon as I step outside, I'm just, I'm going to uh, melt. But because the set is pastel, maybe I'll just look like a, a steaming pile of melted rainbow paddle pop on the ground. This outfit isn't great for running around. I was running late for my eyelash appointment and uh, in running, the skirt just constantly rode up. So so that, that wasn't the best way to start the day. My skirt is riding up a lot, which I don't like. The faster I walk, the faster it rides up. Oh. I'm here and I'm exhausted. Oh my God, we're all done. Ah, oh, she did such a good job. They look amazing, I'm so happy. Okay, I'm all done at the salon and I've just ducked into the supermarket, picked up a whole bunch of groceries, had a little wander around wearing the Fashion Nova. I did get a couple of funny looks, particularly from some uh, elderly ladies that weren't very impressed by my little skirt. They kind of looked at me and they all went quiet and they kind of like shook their head and I was like, what can I say? I'm a Nova Bay. <laughs> the top, it's actually very uncomfortable around here. It's kind of choking me as I'm sitting here and I keep finding myself having to like pull it down and the skirt I'm always having to pull down. The material just wants to kind of like crinkle upwards. It just wants to shrink up on itself. All in all, it's a cute outfit, but for me, I much prefer wearing things that are a little bit tight at the waist, but then they flare out. I don't really like things that are consistently tight all the way along. I'm feeling very self-conscious and I actually just can't wait to get home and take this off. So, uh, See you back home. All in all, I'll wear the top again for sure. The top is adorable. Despite being so warm, it is extremely comfortable. It's not itchy in any way at all. So I'll definitely wear the top. The skirt though, I will not wear this skirt as a skirt again, but you know, I will wear it as a top. It actually works really, really well as a boob tube. I cannot believe it. So I feel like both of these pieces I can get a lot of wear out of. It is a $40 set. And I think that the $40 is justified because it feels really, really nice. It's very soft. Really good thick fabric, but uh, yeah, the length of the skirt and the fact that it rides up does make it a little bit awkward to wear as a two-piece, but I will definitely wear the skirt as a top and I will be able to wear the top as well. So this one gets a pass from me. So for day two, I wore the Shayna set and I paired it with a bag that Dolls Kill gave me and some pointed toe heels. This outfit was an unusual choice for the occasion given that we were going out for breakfast and this outfit is almost like the equivalent of blasting loud music at 9am when you've got a hangover. <laughs> I didn't have the same issue with the skirt riding up on this one as I did with the last set. So this one passed the staircase test, but I can't say that it passed the muffin top test. You see, this set is $55, which is great looking at it from the front, but looking at it from the back, why did no one tell me I looked like that? I did not pay $55 to look like a lumpy sausage wearing a diaper. At breakfast, Daniel pointed out to me that the top kept slipping down. I was not noticing that myself, but boy, did he notice, and it wasn't particularly flattering. It did happen a lot throughout the day, when we were at breakfast and then when we were out shopping, so the top is a little bit difficult to work with. 
Anyway, when we finished breakfast, we headed out for the day. We've just stopped at a little fresh market on the side of the road. Dan's picking up some groceries. He's getting some tomatoes and some cucumber and some corn. This outfit is definitely attention grabbing, that's for sure. It's probably all in my head, but it felt like everyone in the cafe was like, I feel very legally blonde, like insanely legally blonde wearing this, it's crazy. Oh, and it doesn't help that I've got a furry pink bag down there. Look at that. That definitely isn't doing me any favors. What have we got? We've got snow peas, corn, and tomatoes, and eggs, free range eggs. I actually didn't want to get out of the car because I, I didn't want the people in the little side of the road thing to freak out and look at me funny. And after that, we headed out to my parents' house because we were picking up a very special surprise. Hey, Nish. Hey. Hey, Nish. Hi. Bonk. Hello. Hello, my skin. Show them your bow tie. Show them the bow tie. No, no, no. <laughs> no, Hamish is not the surprise, but uh, Holly is. I've had Holly since I was five, five or six. This is a 20 year old bird. This bird may actually be older than some of you guys that are watching right now. She's a, a white dove, dove of peace, and she does a good party trick when you put her in front of a mirror. Look, Holly, who's that? <laughs> Her claws are nowhere near as painful as Archie's. So Archie could not sit on my shoulders with this shoulderless jacket, but she can. High fashion, darling. So Holly is living with us now. You gonna say hello to everyone? So Holly is living with us now and I will be making a video about her soon. So if you have any questions about owning a dove, leave them down below. Now I have a love-hate relationship with the outfit from day three. The cherry lips skirt set looked very promising on the model, but once it arrived, I realized that it's really designed for the classic Nova babe. You know, a little bit shorter, really shapely, big boobs, as opposed to me who is quite tall and very flat chested. Now my best friend Sam also made a Fashion Nova video and I decided to pick up a cherry shirt for him to match my cherry outfit. And I ended up stealing his camel coat from his video because the outfit that I was wearing was so, so terribly short that I could not wear it in public. So Sam and I are matchy matchy today. We're mm -hmm. both wearing Fashion Nova. We both have cherries on our Fashion Nova. You probably can't see that. Yeah, I, I've got more cherries. I have like cherries. He's got like one or Subtle two. Subtle cherries. We have the same glasses, complimentary of the fifth, which is an Australian brand. So we're going out for lunch. And the only issue is that the outfit that I'm wearing is so short. Literally, it's like I'm wearing underpants. That's how short it is. Yeah, any children <laughs> following behind you, beware. Sam got this big trench coat. It's around my waist <laughs> right now. So once we get to the restaurant, I can take the coat off once we're sitting down. Yeah. Um, oh, I'll let you borrow things. I'm a kind, generous god. So we headed out to the shops in our matching outfits and uh, looking back at the footage, <laughs> I could not believe how incredibly suspicious I looked walking around the shops wearing that trench coat. I'm surprised that I wasn't tackled by security. So we had our lunch, took a stroll around the shops, I sacrificed my modesty for a brief staircase test, which I failed abysmally. <laughs> okay. Bit revealing, Alex. This is uh, the wrong tube. And then I just took to acting shady in the trench coat. At the end of the day, $35 for this outfit is okay. But if you have similar proportions to me, you probably don't want to pay $35 to flash the world when you could walk around in your underwear for free. So because we're sitting, everything seems to be in order. It's fine. I mean, I do kind of have to keep pulling on this and just making sure that that's, you know. Keyed in. But aside from that, sitting down, it's a lovely outfit. Makes for a great Instagram photo. But aside from that, uh, I don't think I'll be able to stand up and walk around. I wanted to get some footage out there, but I will have to wear the trench coat. I'll have to look kind of shady wearing a trench coat because it's, it's literally, it's, it's like underwear. I feel a little bit like Jeffree Star. What's up everybody and welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? You know what? I love that these chairs are green. Archie would like this, but also you can turn this chair you can turn this chair into anything that you want. See? As soon as I stand up, I'm putting the coat back on. It's going straight back on. Give me the coat. 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 Give me the co
secret, secret. Protects the modesty at all costs. Protect, must protect. Uh, we're going to TK Maxx. So I think in America, I think it's called TJ Maxx. And it's basically where all, you, all the Kat Von D ends up. It's the Kat Von graveyard in here. So maybe we might be able to find some expensive makeup. I'm not really sure though. I don't have high hopes because it's an Australian store and we don't really have anything compared to American stores. This trench coat is $78, which I personally don't think is worth it. I, I just, for me, it was a very average material and not amazing at all. So I would just say eh on the trench coat, but hey, I mean, that was Sam's. It's not even mine. So let's forget about that one. What have you found there, Alex? Oh God, I'm wearing a ponytail, damn it. <laughs> I forgot. Look, it's only $15. That's, that's real nice. That's tempting. Yeah, you got to do it. Jeffree Star is suing. Coral color. ABH is suing. Samuel, I need you to stop stressing me out. Alex, that's terrible. Look, I did get a brush. It's covered in pandas. Couldn't help myself. The most glorious thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I literally don't even need it, but I want it. Look, there's a smaller version too. Oh my god. Calm down. It is a sad day indeed because we don't cook with non-stick things. We don't use Teflon in our apartment because it's toxic for birds. So rip the pink fry pans. <laughs> there's even a walk. A moment of silence for the, the pink stuff that I don't have in my kitchen and never will. We're in the pet section. Nothing for birds. Nothing. You could I mean, always, uh, I suppose Archie could put him on a leash. Yeah, there's not even any toy birds. But there's not a single bird on this wall. Oh, hold on. Are you saying you'd want a toy bird? Because then that would mean it's a dog's toy that gets chewed up. Mm. Hey, Alex. I really can't keep all these puns bottled up. Literally after you crack all those puns. Actually, these bottles are really, really cool. Yeah, they're great. Look, Buy one. Look, this is literally, this is my aesthetic, this is my aesthetic, this is my aesthetic, this is my aesthetic, and so are those. Wish is quaking. We had a few other things to do that day, so for a little bit of fun, I decided to have an outfit swap with Sam, but uh, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> wow. Oh, there you go, yeah, yeah, let's, let's just cinch that in. Cinch it in like that, is that better? <laughs> yeah, perfect, nice, perfectly fit. <laughs> This Polaroid top was $25 from the men's section and I love it. I This is probably one of my favourite pieces. $25 is definitely worth it. I think it's a really cool looking top and just because it's from the men's wear section doesn't mean that you can't rock it as a girl. I feel like a thug wearing Sam's clothes and jeans. It's not my usual kawaii self but at least the, the water glasses are pink. So there's a little scare of Alex still alive. So anyway, we headed out for coffee, uh, took some Instagram photos, Fawned over Hello Kitty. <laughs> you know, just a regular day in the life of Alex. The jeans were $45. Now they're menswear jeans and they obviously don't fit me, but I think $45 for those jeans is actually really decent. They were really well made and I could tell that if they were the right size, they would have been really nice. The Polaroid top, $25, absolutely worth it. So the sleeves, they're in Katakana and I think that it says Polaroid, Polaroid, <laughs> shake it like a Polaroid picture. No, you're not meant to do that, Alex. You're not meant to shake the Polaroids. That's what they don't tell you in the song. So on to day four now, and we were heading out for dinner with my parents. I put on the super excited lace pant set, and I was indeed super excited to be wearing it. I feel like Sophia Nygaard, like a bat. As pretty pastel, please. I really don't want to be seen wearing black in public. Unfortunately, within the first few minutes of putting it on, I did encounter an issue. It was a nice outfit to wear to dinner, but I think $75 for that is way too overpriced. The fabric was just incredibly average and the way that the top was sitting on me and the way that the pants were fitting me, again, this is one that if you had the proportions of a Nova babe, you'd really, really rock it, but for me, it just seemed a little bit awkward.
After dinner, we headed to the supermarket to find some unicorn themed ice cream that I'd seen on TV because, you know, my poor pastel soul was dying and I needed something kawaii to bring it back to life. But I wasn't able to find it anywhere. Gold. After that, we headed home and of course, it's happened again. Ugh. Uh, you can't even... Uh, there we go. I'm really interested to hear what you guys think about this outfit. I did really like the gothic bat Sophia Nygaard vibes, but then again, I just feel like it was way too awkward on my figure, but I'm really interested to hear what you guys have to say. Day five, I was wearing the you're going to miss this fuzzy dress. This was a long day because we were filming my wish car accessories video, and I was wearing this dress all day, even after we filmed, because it was just so comfortable that I didn't want to take it off. This is literally the softest material ever and heaps of people left comments on the video asking where it was from. So I think this one was a real winner for $45. I especially love the fact that it's so bouncy. Living for that jellyfish aesthetic. Day six was Valentine's Day. Dan took me out for a surprise dinner. I had no idea where we were going, so I wasn't entirely sure if what I was wearing was going to be too dressed up or not dressed up enough, but the girl code ribbed skirt set ended up being pretty appropriate. I have no idea where we are. Literally no idea. I was so busy talking and complaining about something that happened to me earlier today that I've completely lost track of where we are. The one thing that I do know is I'm wearing Fashion Nova. Do you like it? <laughs> it's a mm. Valentine's Day appropriate. Matchy matchy. matchy matchy. It was classy enough to pass at a fancy restaurant, but also not too over the top that you couldn't wear it to Macca's to eat nuggets. Honestly, it wouldn't be the first time that we've eaten nuggets on Valentine's Day. Nuggets. They even gave me a little rose. I'm so happy. So Dan surprised me, put a blindfold on me, brought me to my favorite restaurant that I thought had closed down, but they'd actually just moved locations. And he surprised me and brought me here and I'm so happy. And the staff recognized us and they gave me a little flower for Valentine's Day and I'm so happy. And I did have to fight a bit with how sheer the fabric was on this one. And I also didn't personally like how tight it was, but the color is a 10 out of 10. And the value for money is seven out of 10, because this one was $40. Funnily enough, the Fashion Nova outfit that I'm wearing with this beautiful pink, this was not planned, but look what Dan got me for Valentine's Day. <laughs> he got me the headphones, these are literally PewDiePie's headphones. And he also got me, this is a microphone for me to record voiceovers or ASMR. I think I'm gonna do an ASMR video with Archie and I'll just set this up in front of him and he can like preen his feathers and make cute little noises and He's so cute. <laughs> ASMR stands for Archie Stimulatory mo mo What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> Not impressed. So uh, we have PewDiePie's chair, and now we have his headphones, and uh, all we need now is for you to subscribe to PewDiePie. And what else did we get? I got Dan, well technically, I mean, I guess I got this for both of us. I got us a Switch. So I got us a, a Pokemon themed case. This is a little Pokemon controller, here. Are you gonna go in here, Archie? So I got us this, these colors, because a, a lot of our friends that have Switch controllers, they have the gray ones, and I was like, well, uh, we can be the ones that are different. Unfortunately, they didn't come in pink, but this is for Dan. This is Dan's Valentine's Day present, so. Totally, I will not come home and see you playing this. No, no. no. It's, it's, it's for Dan and Archie. Yeah, Archie. Are you ready? Are you gonna do some gaming? Oh. We are. That's weird, Mum. <laughs> Sam's first comment about my outfit when he saw me wearing it earlier was that it's see-through. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> Ah, I know exactly what you're gonna say about that outfit. I was like, what are you talking about? And he's like... <laughs> I don't, I mean, it, it obvious, Non. I don't think it's that bad, is it? No, it's fine. It's uh, fine. You're, just a, you're no. just a perv. Wait, <laughs> no! I almost forgot the most important part of uh, the whole Valentine's Day event is this. The, the, the last the course. The fact that we love each other? Yes. <laughs> Very convincing, Alex. <laughs> The dessert! I went to uh, this place called Koi. This is... Feast your eyes on this, ladies and gentlemen. Hot diggity dog. To be honest, I just picked them based on... Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Hey, excuse me! At least buy me dinner first. So this one, caramel and popcorn, something like that. 
This one, I'll give you like two guesses. No, you, I bet you thought it was peach flavor. It's actually, it's a booty that's done a lot of squats. This one, I don't remember. I just picked it because it looked absolutely insane. This one has suffered a little bit of damage in the car ride. They're, Why is that, they're Alex? glorious. You I'm a good like... driver. I'm a good driver, Samuel. No more from I you. I wasn't there. I can't verify anything. What do you think? We're gonna eat this. And ah. da <laughs> uh, Dan has a rule, no eating on camera. So that, that's it, that's all you get. We're gonna eat these in peace. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> Day seven was another disaster. I was supposed to wear the Will You Take Me There set, but it was so incredibly scratchy that when I put it on and I walked toward the front door, I didn't even make it out of my apartment wearing that set because it felt like there were ants crawling all over me and the ants were on fire and the ants were having allergic reactions and they were scratching themselves and in doing so, I was being scratched by the ants and then I was having an allergic reaction to the ants and does that even make any sense? It was terrible. It was terrible. So I swapped out the skirt, left on the top because, you know, fashion is pain. And I ended up wearing the boogie night pants. I adored the color of them. And again, from the front, they were very flattering. I wore this at the start of one of my Dolls Kill videos and heaps of my subscribers loved the pants. But uh, little did they know what they looked like from the back. I really don't think that I have the booty to pull off pants from Fashion Nova. To be fair though, these pants were only $16, which is an unbelievable steal. The wall set was $45, and for me, it's not worth it to pay $45 to have your entire body itching when you could just go roll in an ant's nest. So many birds chasing after me. Oh my god, so itchy. Oh, so itchy. I have to keep pull- What the f But anyway, because of the disaster with those pants, I'm very glad to be able to report that we do have a bonus outfit. There is a day eight here, because I couldn't make a Fashion Nova video without trying Fashion Nova jeans. Day eight, I wore the Ring My Bell Bottom jeans, and I paired it with the Duchess Vibes top, and I have to say, this was my favorite outfit of all of them. The jeans are literally amazing. Amazing. And the top is so, so, so comfortable. This is Mecca. It's this big shiny shop over here. So we're gonna go in, get some makeup, do some generic stock footage of the Fashion Nova outfit. This is the best photo of Sam ever taken. Look, look at that background blur. Look at the bokeh. <laughs> bokeh. <laughs> the what, Alex? Bokeh. We headed out shopping and then for some lunch. I even bumped into a subscriber at the shops. Hi. This is Jemima, everyone's favorite subscriber. <laughs> Jemima, yay! Hey we just bumped into each other. So uh, what do you think of my outfit? I really like it. Do you like it? I like the flares because I love flares. it's coordinating flares. Yes, yay, yeah. okay. We, we have the Jemima seal of approval. I actually, I feel good in this. Like, I feel a little bit like, uh, can I speak to the manager when I put these on? You know, like I need to get in my G-Wagon and ask for the manager, but aside from that, I think it's, I think it's stylish. But you know what, this is, I still wear this sort of thing now. Like, I, I would kill for a uniform like that. Seriously, you're lucky. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. As Americans laugh go. at us for having uniforms, but this is a good uniform as far as uniforms go. Yeah, so, you jelly. My main issue with this outfit was that the sleeves were so long that it was making eating very, very difficult. But I'm willing to put up with that because the top itself is probably one of my favorite tops that I've ever worn. It's just so flattering and I really love flared sleeves. And for $30, this top is incredibly well made. And the jeans, they were only $38. The jeans have reignited my hope in Fashion Nova. And I think that if I ever shop there again, I will definitely buy more jeans because I was just so impressed by them. The way that they were fitting me, the length, they were a little bit stretchy. They were super stylish, so I do really, really love those. Do you think they're actually balloons? Or do you think they're made of metal? I don't That's... know, Alex. One way to find out. Let's find out. <laughs> they're solid. Can I ride one into battle? The pink one. My noble steed. Oh, 
please do not sit down on the dogs. Oh. <laughs> but they're not dogs, they're balloons. So uh, I feel like my takeaway from all of this is that the giant purple sweater dress is epic. They do seem to have a lot of really nice fuzzy pastel things on their website, so major points from me. The jeans, definitely worth it as well. There seems to be some pretty cheap menswear, so definitely don't overlook the menswear section when you're shopping. So uh, with that, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know below what your favourite outfit is. Let me know your thoughts about Fashion Nova. Keep an eye out for my next few videos. I have some really fun ones coming up and I can't wait to share them with you. If for some reason you haven't already seen Sophia Nygaard's Fashion Nova video, definitely check it out. That's where I got my inspiration for this one from. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah! Woo! <laughs>